and welcome back to Coco Tea TV, everyone. Y'all, today I am bringing you two recipes. Both of these recipes are some fan favorites in this house, especially on game day weekend. And it is Super Bowl weekend, but you can make these recipes anytime. I have eaten my famous guacamole salsa dip on the channel plenty of times. So you guys have heard me talk about it and many of you have asked for me to share that recipe. So that's what I'm doing today. I've eaten my buffalo chicken dip on the channel one time before and you guys asked for that recipe too. So I'm bringing you both recipes today, y'all. So happy Super Bowl weekend. Anytime you see this video, let's get into it. guacamole salsa here are the ingredients we got some red onion we got a Roma tomato but you can use any kind of tomato you would like a jalapeno which is optional lime some cilantro is a must-have for me I know some people don't like cilantro but I love it and then we got some avocados here so we're gonna get into making this famous guacamole salsa. All right, so we're going to cut up this avocado you want to cut your avocado all the way around so that you are getting it twisted like that. And then you are going to hit your, your seed and you're going to wiggle it around and that seed comes straight on out of there. Okay? And then I like to cut my ends like this just so that I can go ahead and um, peel this easily. Look how easy that came off. I know some of you have said that you have, you're not that good at cutting avocados, but it is so easy. And you certainly want your avocado to be um, not too brown, like this one here was perfect. It's not too hard and it's not too brown or soft so i am going to cut the rest of these avocados and i will be right back This is a small batch that I'm making. So I did get those cut up and they are in here. Now the thing with these avocados is you want them to not brown because we know they brown fast. What I'm doing is um, getting this lime softened up some so that we can use it to squeeze on here. It's gonna serve as a seasoning as well as it's going to help um, not brown as much. And I like to uh, punch some extra holes in my limit, my limes, just so that they can get a little bit softer. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and squeeze that lime juice over. I love fresh lime juice. That fresh lime juice is just going to coat that avocado. And guys, I do not like 
um, mushy guacamole. I'll eat it, but I don't, I don't care for it. I prefer the soft. I prefer the chunky, chunky avocado salsa. Okay, so here's where we are with that. That is what we got right now. Okay, so we are going to assemble our salsa. I only use two avocados for this because I'm making a small batch, but um, you can certainly double or triple this recipe, but this is just a small batch here. So we got the tomatoes in there. I'm going to put some red onions in there. I like a lot of red onions. Um, I'm going to put my cilantro in there. I like a lot of cilantro. And then as you can see, I had the chopped jalapenos that just gives it that extra kick to it. Okay. And then we are going to, we're going to season this. Put a little bit of salt in there. You don't want to over salt it. We're going to put some pepper in there. Some coarse black pepper. We're gonna put some garlic powder in there. Okay, we got that there. We're gonna mix that around. Look at this. Look at how fresh that looks, guys. And if you can just smell it, I mean, just the flavors all together. That looks so good, and it is so good. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to refrigerate this until I'm ready to serve it. But I will tell you, I am a lime juice lover. So I am going to squeeze as much of this lime juice that I can get out of here. Cause I wanna get every bit of my lime juice for this one. And I can just eat this, guys, with some chips or even on some toast, make an avocado toast. I do push it down a little bit, but really it's the chunkiness for me, y'all. It's the chunkiness. And we are going to plate this up and come right back. These are the seasonings that I use to season up that chicken breast that's over there boiling in the pot right now. It's the bone-in chicken breast, so the beginning of the seasoning for our delicious buffalo chicken dip that we are making. We got our bone-in chicken breast. It has just gone into this seasoned flavored water, and we got some celery and some onions in here. So we're gonna let this boil on up, and we are going to get started on making this delicious buffalo chicken dip. These are the ingredients that I am gonna use for the buffalo chicken dip. We got our Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. This is really a game changer for buffalo chicken dip. Hidden Valley Ranch, I found that this dip is, this ranch is actually better than some of the other ranches that's out there. Philadelphia Original Cream Cheese, some sour cream, just a little bit and some shredded cheese for the top of it. All right, so I am going to start out with this cream cheese. I got one packet of it. I will put the recipe in the description box, but as of now, I typically don't have accurate measurements because I've made this so much and tweaked it so much that I just do what I can, but like I said, I will try to give you guys as good of, a, good of a recipe as I can. So we're gonna just let this, we're gonna mash up. And so far, I'm thinking this is about a cup, cup and a half maybe of the ranch. And you want your cream cheese to be at room temperature and you just, Mix it in until it gets, till it gets unclumpy, till it gets smooth. 
And then you are going to add in some sour cream. Next. So we'll get that. I like to add the sour cream in, guys. So probably about a fourth of a cup of sour cream. It's mixing in. And this, you guys will see how many this serves. But most of the time I'm making it in large batches, so I double or triple the recipe. But for now, I'm just making it for um, one pack of it. So I'm going to keep mixing this. In fact, I'm probably going to get my whisk to mix this. But I am going to put some more ranch dressing. And at the end of the day, it's probably going to end up being about two two cups of ranch, one eight ounce package of cream cheese, and some sour cream. Look at this chicken, y'all. It is boiling up so nicely, and it's actually making a nice chicken stock, too. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit longer. They've been going for uh, well over an hour now, but we're going to let them go a little bit longer because I want them nice and tender. And look at all that good um, stock that's being made, guys. Okay, so we are going to take this chicken out. It is ready. And as you can see, I let the skin and everything just cook on because I wanted all the flavors. But we're going to let this meat... We are going to let it uh, rest some. But it is so, look at that, it's falling apart. And we're going to let it rest and then we're gonna come back and shred this chicken apart. All right, so this chicken has cooled off. We are going to we're going to clean this, clean all the fatty parts off, and we're just going to get the shredded chicken. But look how that just falls apart like that, and it's going to be full of flavor. Now, you can use canned chicken. I've seen people do it. You can use rotisserie chicken. I prefer to do my own just because I find that it's more flavorful. But again, you can do whatever you want with yours but i love to boil my chicken it just makes it so much easier i've roasted it before but for whatever odd reason boiling it just gets it the consistency that i want from it and i typically shred this a little bit more let's see shred it really good i like mine to be pretty chunky but we're going to shred it. We're going to get all the little bones out. As you know, the bones give it that flavor, guys. The bones give it that flavor. So, we got this here. Look at that, guys. Look at it. And that was just... We're going to use two pieces of chicken for this one. And th as you can see, this pan isn't that big, but if I was making a big pan of it, I would use all four of those chicken breasts and shred them. So we got this here. There we go. Shredded chicken. Next, I am going to pull out the Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo. I like the Buffalo one. You can get the hot but this is the one that I like. So I coat my chicken with it. And 
I'm going to use this spoon here. But I typically uh, go ahead and do it with my hands and everything. Get your hands in there and just get it all in. And really I'm eyeballing it. But you want your chicken to be fully coated. You do not want dry chicken for this. I got my oven preheating, guys. I got it at 400 degrees because I want this dip to be just piping hot. Piping hot. So you want to make sure all of your chicken is coated. And as you can see, all of my chicken is coated. I like the chunky chicken. That is looking really good there. And then now, guys, we are going to get our, this is the cream cheese. The cream cheese, the ranch, the sour cream. And I put a little bit of, um, put a little bit of cheese in there, shredded cheese. I also, guys, put a some ranch, ranch powder. I put a little bit of that on the chicken just as well, just to kind of give it a little bit more kick to it. I like that ranch flavor. So we are going to put this in here, and then we're going to mix everything in. We're going to see what the consistency is here. Here we go. All right, look at that, guys. That is coming together really well this is about the right amount that I want for mine I don't want it to be too creamy but I don't want it to be dry either so we're gonna let that go okay so here's that consistency that I'm looking for guys that is that awesome look at that consistency looking good all of that is mixed in. I'm actually going to put a little bit of cheese in here. You can put some really fine celery chunks in here if you want. Some people put onions in it, but I just do it just like this here, guys. That cheese is gonna melt inside of there. You got all of that flavor in. So we're going to let that, and then now we're going to just spread it out, and we're going to top this with cheese. Here we go. Put us some cheese on the top of it. Okay. All right. Got that all coated up here. We're going to put the lid on this. We're going to put this in a 400 degree oven. Uh, we're going to put it in for about 30 minutes. Um, if it needs to go longer, I'll let you know. But I'll let you know how long it stayed in the oven, guys. All right. Time to come out. I took the lid off to let it finish baking and get a little brown on the top. That is looking so good, fresh out of the oven. All right. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Look at this ooey gooey y'all oh my goodness this is you got that brown piece on the end this is the delicious buffalo chicken dip y'all it is so good so good look at that all that flavor we're gonna dig into it and try this guys so the guacamole salsa is done. It has been in the fridge and chilling. 
But look at all that flavor in there, guys. We got the cilantro, the tomatoes, that lime juice, keeping it all together. And all you have to do is cover this really tightly with a saran wrap, and it will keep it from browning for at least a day. But this doesn't last a day in this house. It's so good. And then we got the buffalo chicken zip. Nice little platter here. Awesome game day snack or any time of day snack, actually. All right, guys, the dips are ready. We are going to taste these dips. Like I said, you guys have seen me eat these on the show before, but I wanted to show you my recipe in my kitchen, and I hope that you enjoy them just as much as me and my family enjoy them. So let's dig in and see how these dips taste, guys. We are going to start out with a tortilla chip, and we are going to get us some avocado salsa, guys. Avocado salsa, guacamole salsa, whatever you want to call it, it's delicious. So, here we go. Look at all that goodness. Yes. Oh, mm. it's the freshness for me. It's the pop of that lime, that cilantro against that red onion and the heat from the jalapeno, which is a backdrop. It's not an immediate heat, but you certainly can taste the flavor of it. And I didn't use the um, seeds of the jalapeno, so... It's not spicy at all, but you can de definitely taste the smokiness of the jalapeno. Again, y'all, such an amazing recipe that I'm happy to share with you all. Mm. Okay. Now, for the star of the show, this buffalo chicken dip, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Look at it. Ooh, a little hot. Fresh out the oven. Mmm. Oh. It's creamy. Mmm. Very well seasoned. Mmm. So full of flavor. I'm going to taste that ranch in there. That Papa Ranch. Delicious, y'all. So good. You will have everyone wanting this. Whether it's game day or any day. Perfect. Mm. Y'all, I certainly want to thank you all for joining me, guys, in my kitchen today. As I bring you these amazing recipes, please remember to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Like the video with a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you are not subscribed, guys, there are going to be way more videos of recipes and just a lot more fun over here on Coco TTV. And guys, if you can share this video out with your community, please do so, guys. And on that note, I am out of here. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I will see y'all on the next video, guys.